Amazon product research and exactly what you need to do in order to start selling on Amazon. In this video, I'm going to break down exactly how I was able to grow my Amazon business year by year and finding those right products to start selling on Amazon. Literally, I started selling on Amazon about five years ago and during product research, I personally feel is like one of the most important things that you should focus on when starting to sell on Amazon. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly all my steps I do, all the secrets, all the little tips and tricks of exactly how I was able to grow my Amazon business to over a million dollars in sales as of this year. Honestly, it's been a long journey. I've been selling on Amazon, like I said, five years now, and every year it's grown little by little and next year is going to be even bigger and amazon's one of the best business models that you should actually look into when making money online so let's get started so i want to talk a little bit about me and the backstory of how i started selling on amazon so in front of me here i have the platform called helium 10 and i really really recommend you to get a helium 10 if you're trying to start selling on Amazon or trying to find that right product to start selling on Amazon, personally, Helium 10 is probably the best research platform that you can use when selling on Amazon. It's allowed me to grow my business year by year. And honestly, if I didn't have this tool, I probably wouldn't have been able to scale my business as much as I had, especially with all the little tools, tips and tricks and like the data they have with all that software. It really, really has helped me out grow my business and to see exactly what I need to do in order to tweak a few things. So if you don't have Helium 10 or you're interested in getting it, make sure you use the link down below. It has this discount code for you guys. It'll give you guys a discount code and it would help me out as well. So if you want to use Helium 10, make sure to use that link down below. And let's look more about Helium 10 right here. Um, like I said, when I started selling on Amazon, I wasn't, I didn't have that much money to start off with. I really started off from the ground up and it was a scary, scary thing when I first started, but I took the initiative, you know, I took that leap of faith and it's been paying off every year. So here's the profit as of yesterday. It's 2,500 for the week. 11,000 in profit and for the year um, this is actually in one month right now this is the month let's go to last year so last year it did uh, over a million dollars in sales and in net profit 420,000 one thing I really, really want to mention when selling on Amazon and doing product research is that I teach everybody this exact thing to look for when selling on Amazon. This is going to allow you to grow that Amazon business like myself, because honestly, these numbers are nothing of how I started off with. Like the first year I started selling on Amazon, I was averaging around $300 in profit every day. And then 600, 900, it grew little by little. And now it's around, I'm averaging around $2,000 profit every day. Yesterday was a little bit more than usual, but that's around that ballpark of 2000. But one thing that you need to make sure that you take into consideration when selling on Amazon is make sure that profit margin is 35% or more. I really, really recommend this. I'm gonna get more in details with that later on in the video, but profit margin needs to be 35% or higher to have a very successful cash flow business. So you can see here, I'm at 34, and this is after all the Amazon FBA fees, the shipping fees, the product cost. After all said and done, you want that net profit to be 35. So we'll talk more about that later on in the video, but just remember that 35%. So we have here all the data and let's talk about finding that right product to start selling on Amazon. So once you get Helium 10 and you use that discount code down below, you're going to go through tools here and you're going to go to black box, Amazon product research. And what I like about this is that we're able to like scrape and see all the data from Amazon 
and see what is in a low competition in the high search value field. You want to start selling products that not a lot of people are selling and a lot of people are buying. Because if you just sell whatever you want or if you think it's like a good hobby that you're doing and you want to start selling that product, I really, really don't recommend it. You need to follow the data and go by that data. It's so, so important that you do that and not just sell anything you want just because you think it's going to be good to sell. You have to look at the numbers and see and take an educational guess from those numbers and, you know, start selling it. So product research is extremely, extremely important when selling on Amazon. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what I would do when doing this whole process. So we have here a black box and what I would personally sell is like, let's say appliances I'm okay with. Baby Crocs is a great one. Beauty personal care is a good one. I'll stay away from books. I would stay away from camera and phone. I mean, camera and photo, I would stay away from. Anything electronics, I would stay away from because those things, you know, you have to sell them really fast and technology is always advancing. So I would stay away from electronics, cell phone accessories, stay away from. I would stay away from clothing because there's a lot of variations, small, medium, large and you don't want to get all your cash stuck in one product so we're going to stay away from clothing computer accessories we're going to stay away from and you're more than welcome to also use these exact um, numbers i'm putting in and everything that way you can find that right product to start selling as well so we're also going to put health household kit, home and kitchen is a good one kitchen dining's good Office products is also a good one. Pet supplies, tools and home improvement, and no, I'm gonna stay away from that one. Okay, after you have the categories, and you're more than welcome to, you know, tweak it up a little bit, but this is what I like to do. So number of sellers, we're gonna put one and one because we don't want, number of sellers, we don't want like a lot of people selling a certain brand Usually if it's one seller, it's a, some way that's selling their own product like you and me. So one seller, shipping size. So I mentioned to all, every, all my students and everybody that's learning how to sell on Amazon that you want to sell something that's small and light. You don't want anything big because you don't want the shipping cost to be high from China to Amazon's warehouse. And when a customer buys your product, you don't want that sh high shipping price and high shipping fee. So I, I personally stick with small items, small, and then we're gonna put small, large standard and three pounds. Nothing like this oversized we're gonna stay away from. Fulfillment, we wanna use Amazon FBA. Amazon means it's shipped and sold by Amazon and Amazon sells it themselves. And of course we wanna stay away from that. FBM stands for fulfilled by merchant. And this is when a product is not Amazon Prime, but the seller is shipping it from their home. And Amazon really prefers Amazon FBA, which is Amazon Prime. And this is what we're gonna go with because it's the, honestly, it's the best business model you can think of. I don't have to sell, have inventory in my house or anything like that. And when a customer buys it, Amazon does all the work for me. So Amazon FBA is what we're sticking with for the price. Make sure that you sell products that are $15 or more. Why do I recommend this? It's because the fees Amazon gives you and the product costs that you're gonna be dealing with and all that stuff. If it's below $15, like I said earlier, the profit margin, I really like it to be 35% or higher. And if it's usually below that $15 mark, the profit margin is not gonna be at that number so i definitely like to sell products that are 15 dollars or higher that way you have that good profit margin and you're able to scale your business year by year so we're going to put 15 here and monthly revenue we're going to put 4500 which is you know on average 150 dollars in sales every day and yeah i think this is great information you're more than welcome to screenshot this and use it when you use Helium 10 to find that right product. 
Okay, so after you screenshotted it, we're gonna click search here. And now we have a list of products that we have an idea of what is selling well on Amazon and what falls under those categories that we filtered through. So what I personally would do here is, you know, take your time and do your due diligence with this. Make a list, I personally would make a list of maybe 30 products, 50, it doesn't even matter. Like do your due diligence and take your time with this because this is one of the most important processes when selling on Amazon. You wanna make sure you get in that right product category that's in a low competition and high search volume field. So you also wanna make sure that profit margin is 35%. Um, I will grab a list of these products and then see how much it is with the supplier. I'll show you guys that all in a minute, but make sure you just really take your time with this. So we're gonna go a couple here and this one is crazy. I know hair, hair extensions is big money. Let's just click this one here. Oh, one star. But you can see here though, that it is a lot, a lot of money, $72. We can always go on Alibaba later and check if we can find something similar to this, which I'm pretty sure we could. Let's keep scrolling though. I'm gonna show you guys some, let's see if we can find some good ones here. Look at this winter coat, this is funny. This is more of a seasonal product, which even though they're, it's at $36 and they have 1,500 sales, which is $55,000 in revenue for the month. That That's a lot of money, but this is a seasonal, you know, product. And something like this, you can probably find on Alibaba for around $2. So you can make a lot of money with this product. So we're gonna keep going down here. We have here a little night light for $17 and let's see, this is $17 and we can go here to see how much sales you're doing every month. Close to around a thousand and 15,000 in sales. So something like this, it's small and light, which is great. We just need to make sure that that profit margin we're talking about is 35%. So let's use this product for example, and I'm gonna show you guys how to find that profit margin, right? So every listing has an ASIN. The ASIN is here. It usually starts with B0, right? So how can we find the ASIN? It's, it's here, but if you go on the listing, you can always put control find here and put ASIN, and it's always down here on all the listings. You're just gonna copy and paste this copy it and we're gonna go on Google really quick here and then we're gonna put Amazon FBA calculator we're gonna click here continue as guest and we're gonna type in that ASIN now that we have ASIN typed in here we are gonna check how much it's gonna cost usually something like this I, like I said, I like to sell it $15 or more, and this is $17, which is close to that mark, just a little bit above it. So let's make sure, let's say this product costs maybe 150, right? 150 and the shipping cost to ship this is 40 cents each unit. That makes that profit margin, you can see here the net margin is 35%. And we're making six dollars profit off each um, nightlight we have, so that's a good product to start selling. It's something just to start off with, but this is just an idea. This is a quick idea, and you will, what you would do with this is that you would look for it on Alibaba.com. So let's go to Alibaba.com, and something like this you need to find it at around a dollar and 50 cents to make that profit margin that you're looking for so let's put children night light see if we can find it see you can see it right here and we're going to probably look for a bunch of suppliers that have this product 
we're gonna try to find it at around that one dollar and fifty cents and if it's if you can't find it at that price then look for the next prop to start selling this is just a quick quick demonstration of, of how to do that whole process of product research and it's very simple you just need to find a product that has a good profit margin you just need to find a product that has a good profit margin and that's way you can find the right products to start selling on Amazon making sure that you have a high chance of making a lot of money online and making sure that it's something that you're gonna make money on so so Amazon product research really helps you find out how you're gonna find that right price to start selling on Amazon that even small sellers are making pretty decent money and how you can do the exact same thing and make easy money with doing minimal effort so finding that right product to sell online is extremely extremely important but of course there's more factors into all of this this is just amazon product research i also teach people how to get all their products on the first page of amazon and there's a lot more information to selling on amazon of course and i teach you guys all of this on my channel so if you're new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and i teach you guys you know after you find it that bright product to start selling how you're going to get it ranked on that first page of amazon all my products are always ranked on that first page of amazon and that's how you're able to grow a successful amazon business you don't want to be on the second page third page fourth page making sure that you ranked on the first page of amazon is really really important as well and i teach you guys how to do that whole thing on my channel so make sure you hit that subscribe button so hopefully this video was helpful for you guys and also if you're going to use helium 10 please make sure you use the link down below in the description or in the pinned comments this tool is really going to help you out finding that right product to start selling on amazon and that's about it and i'll see you guys on the next one peace